So now this 2009 Smart 4.2 will have, let's see, Live OBD2 telemetry. So we'll let it connect. I have this all through the head unit. I don't know what that noise is the car is on so it must be some kind of climate control blending door okay so we have this connected so we have real-time information the cars just powered on um that noise is very distracting but that noise has nothing to do with what you're looking at anyway so of course you have all the usual features of the torque app um so i think it's pretty cool I have this set up while I'm driving. I can have all these, all this data in addition to just the basic cluster. So I'll have, I wish it had oil pressure on here though. Maybe I should see if it has oil temperature too. But anyway, you know, you have all your monitors here, which is good. So when you go get the emissions inspection, you know, you can see right on your screen that you're ready. But one thing that is weird. So I do have this um, fold code that d doesn't put the check engine light on. I think, the, I think it might have something to do with the battery was dead at some point. Maybe that's the case. But no other fold codes. And I also have to make some kind of you look along here, the radio doesn't fit in here perfectly. Um, this was one of these like um, Chinese aftermarket radios for Volkswagens. So it's like an Android tablet set up, you know, with the red buttons and everything for a Volkswagen. But I modified it to fit in here because I thought it would look cool. This smart car came with no radio option at all. But uh, when you take away, there was like a cubby here, you know, behind it was the wiring harness for the radio. So it was all pre-wired. Of course, it would come that way from the factory. So it already came with the speakers and the antenna and everything else. So you just had to put your own radio in. So, But other than that, this thing is pretty cool, I guess. Although, I think this is Polish. And I can't figure out how to change that to English. So, who knows? But I just thought somebody might be interested in this. So I figured I'd make a quick video of how you can use an OBD2 app. You know, you have to have the Bluetooth adapter and the OBD2 port. And if you have a radio like this, you know, you'll have live data while you're driving. So, it's pretty cool. All right. I'll make some other videos, I guess, down the road.